guys so it has been about a year since I did my what I hit pan on or products I've hit pan on I don't remember what it was called but if you haven't seen that video I will have it linked below and in the cards basically in that video I show you exactly when it seems like I show you all the products that I had hit pan on at that point and I just thought since it's been a year I would do an updated version of that and show you all the products that I have hit pan on since then and I'll also include the products that were in that video at least the ones that I still have and haven't given away in my declutters I don't remember exactly which ones were um, in that video but I do know what this one was this is the elf eyebrow kit in light that is how much pan I have on it I have pan in both the shades and I did last year as well. I think I've expanded this one a bit, but this one has stayed pretty much the same. This isn't really my favorite anymore, but I used to use it like all the time and I still use it sometimes, especially the gel to like when I'm plucking my brows just to fill them in and shape them. Next is the Milani Single Eyeshadow in Bella Gold. This was another one that was in the last video and I think it's about in the same place. Um, it's just a big chunk of it fell out so it's kind of cheating but like technically it's still pan so I just count it in this. Just trying to quickly go through everything that was in the last video. Um, this is the e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette and I have pan on this shade right here. I don't know if this was in the last video to be honest it might not have been but I do have pan on this light pinky shade right here. I have used this palette a lot it's one of my absolute favorites it's really inexpensive only ten dollars for ten shades all the shades are really beautiful and usable and wearable and I really like taking this with me on vacation so I highly recommend this then I have the covergirl true naked palette in goldens and this one I have pan on this light shade right here I really love this palette as well it's really beautiful I don't think I've really expanded the pan since last year because I'm pretty sure this was in that video I have the Lorac Pro Matte Palette I can't remember which shade I had pan in or if there were multiple ones but I know I have done a lot of work on this since that video I probably had pan in the shade linen but now it is completely gone. It was a really nice matte white shade. And now it's completely gone. It's the first shadow that I've ever used up, I think. And the only one at this point. And I also have pan in bare and in corduroy. I think I had pan in corduroy the last video. But it wasn't very, like, you couldn't really see it through the camera so now you can see it a little bit it's there and then there's also sh um, some pan and bare I love this palette so so much it's really good quality I would definitely recommend you pick it up if they still sell it I think they do I think this is the last one from that video that I filmed last year this is the comfort zone palette from wet and wild and I have pan in this lightest shade up here I use this palette all the time I love it so much and um, I just use the lighter shades the most, I guess. So I have a lot of pan in that. Now we are getting into all of the new stuff that I've hit pan on. And I think I've almost doubled what I hit pan on last year. I think I had seven products in that video. And I have six new products in this one that I've hit pan on. So that's really exciting. First I want to show you the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I have significant pan on Charmer right here. It was a matte white and obviously you can tell I use those a lot because I used up the Lorac one as well. I also have a little bit of pan in Funny Girl right here so of course the lighter shades I hit pan on really easily but yeah I really really love this palette. It's really great quality and I use it all the time which I actually had to like put it back in my drawer for a little bit so I could give some of my other palettes some love but I just wanted to use this constantly. I used it for months on end, like no breaks, and I just love it so much. Next, I have a little mini highlighter from Tarte, and this is in the shade Enthused. It was a limited edition shade, but they do actually have highlighters out now. I think it might be a little bit of a different formula than this. I'm not quite sure, but I do really like this formula. If it is the same, I'll have to get one of those highlighters to kind of compare, but... I have a lot of pan in this, you can see. I've been working on this this year. I'm trying to use it up in 2017. I think I'm getting pretty close. This is actually the most progress I've ever made on a highlighter. It's the first one that I've ever hit pan on, so I'm really excited about that. There's not a whole lot of product in here. There's uh, 
0.05 ounces in here so not a whole lot which is why I was able to hit pan on it so quickly but now that I have I've just been working through it really fast and I really love it I have it on my cheeks today and I I'm really obsessed with this, which is why I have been using it so, so much. And honestly, I'm just really proud that I've hit pan on it, because, like, that's not really easy to do with highlighters. Another thing that I'm super proud to have hit pan on is my Hula Bronzer from Benefit. It's awesome to have pan on this, and I have pretty significant pan. I am working on this one this year as well, and I also worked on it a bit last year. I have this bronzer on today, and I love it. It's perfect for bronzing, contouring, whatever you want to do. It's a beautiful matte shade and it's pretty neutral so it can be used for a multitude of different things. Now this is really talked up on YouTube but if you're looking for a good matte bronzer this one is a really good one. I would highly recommend this. I've used it so much to hit pan on it so I mean obviously I like it or I wouldn't keep using it. And then the last three products that I have here are all face powders because I'm very oily or at least I was. I'm not as oily as I used to be but I'm still oily so I do use a lot of powders. First we have the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder and I have pan on it right there in the middle. Then we have the one that I am wearing today that I've been using in my everyday makeup drawer and this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder in the shade Porcelain. I really like this because it does give you a little bit of extra coverage and it gives you a really nice matte finish. I have a lot of pan on that one. And then lastly is the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder in the shade Cool and I have the most pan in this one because I really really love this powder it just evens out your skin tone and everything and I feel like it just gives you a really nice finish so I have been really loving all of these powders really and I'm hoping that I can use one face powder up this year that is my goal so really I'm hoping I can use up a lot of these products this year and just get through the things that I've already hit pan on because once you hit pan it's not really too much longer to go until you can use it up so that's what I am trying to do if you want to see my progress with all of these products then make sure you're subscribed to see my future updates with project pans or um, my big end of the year video where I show you all the stuff that I have all the makeup stuff that I have used up in 2017 and I will show you all my progress on everything that I wanted to use up this year leave a like on this video if you want another update update in the upcoming year and make sure you're subscribed to see that and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys!